fact, it is very essential to uh, keep your HbA1c below seven, as suggested by American Diabetic Association. As we know that uh, once the diabetes is diagnosed, uncontrolled diabetes can lead to a lot of complications, both macrovascular and microvascular. Macrovascular complications like CAD, which a common person knows uh, as a heart attack or a heart failure. Then there can be a stroke, a commonly known as paralysis, and also peripheral artery disease leading to ulcers, gangrene, and even amputation. The macro and uh, complications include nephropathy, which can lead to chronic kidney disease and renal failure, retinopathy, which can lead to blindness, and neuropathy, which can lead to painful extremities, numbness, and loss of sensation. So basically, the idea is to keep the HbA1c below 7 to avoid all this macro and microvascular complication. As we know that uh, increased thirst, increased appetite and uh, weakness, is, tiredness is definitely a common symptom of diabetes. But once you are diabetic, like, you know, there's a diabetes, it is not necessary that you will be always be feeling tired. As an example, I can give you there are a lot of uh, world-class athletes who are diabetics like Basim Akram and Billy Jen King. So once you are diagnosed with diabetes and if you manage your diabetes uh, in a proper manner, you can lead a very energetic life. And when I say proper manner means you have to make certain lifestyle modifications like a proper diet as per your uh, dietitian and doctor's advice. Also regular exercises like walking uh, at least for 30 to 40 minutes, five times a week. A proper sleep of minimum seven hours is required. And of course, you have to avoid the stress at work, work at home and even in social life. Along with that, uh, regular investigations as per your doctor's advice and medication needs to be followed if you want to lead a, uh, lead a, lead a completely uh, full energetic life. This, that uh, all diabetics feel tired at all the time is definitely a myth and not to be believed.